Hey there everyone. So this is my latest plane that I've built. It's a twin motor uh, FPV plane. Um, it's based around these Lumineer uh, 2206-2350 kV motors that are usually for uh, mini quads and they're the same motors that I was using on my mini quad but I had two of them left over so I figured I would build a small plane and mount them to it. Each motor has a 25 amp uh, Turnigy plush ESC and then powering it I have two of the Lumineer uh, 1300 milliamp hour batteries, four cell batteries. For the FPV setup I have just the Runcam 2 and it's connected to this video transmitter. I think it's like a TS58500 or something like that with a circular polarized antenna. The wing is made out of solid foam that I cut with a hot wire cutter. It's three sections actually that I glued all together. First section here and then the middle piece and then the other the wing half. The motors are mounted on an aluminum bracket that I bent and I just used Gorilla Glue to glue the bracket to the motor or to the uh, wing and then I bolted the motor onto the bracket there just using the normal M3 screws. Uh, for the servos I'm using Turnigy 9018 Metal Gear servos. Uh, one for each aileron and then one for the elevator. It's actually inside the plane. But there's no rudder so I'm using differential thrust for controlling yaw. Uh, for the wheels, the landing gear, I have another uh, bent piece of aluminum. I painted it white but you can see it there and then the wheels are just bolted in. The wingspan is about 55 inches roughly and the fuselage is the length of one piece of foam board so it's like 30 inches. I've got the FPV camera on a pan servo. It's a little bit heavier duty servo. It's metal gear but it's a little heavier duty than the ones I'm using for the control surfaces but I have that controlled with uh, this knob on my Tyrannus. I actually modified the servo so it's 360 degree servo but because of that it, it will want to spin all the way around forever. So whenever you want to turn it, you have to turn it and then stop and then center the knob to stop it. But it'll go all the way around. And if you have the FPV wire plugged into it, then obviously the wire will get tangled up. So you have to remember not to go all the way around unless you're just recording.